Hello, Mick Cow. Hello, man. This is Howard Dare. Thanks for stopping by. So I want to talk about the second coming of man, the second coming of Mick Cow. Uh, but before I get into it, this is a new video. It's 1-22-22. Let's talk about the second coming of man, because man 1.0 is pretty much done for. You suspect, you feel that something is not as it appears to be. The system that man 1.0 has built has been subverted. It is now a tool for the majority, for the masses, to reap the benefits of. And this is the source of your frustration and doubt and anger and fear, that the very principles, the virtues, the values that built the world around you, to which you should be the inheritor, have been subverted, have been inverted, to make you the servant, the slave, the worker, the sacrificial animal of that system. And this is the end of Man 1.0. Now, this is a complex subject. My videos don't lend themselves to, you know, quick 10 minute little videos. I'd love to be able to stream live and just talk, but uh, I don't have that option right now. So forgive me for making these very broad strokes. I want you to understand the problem, the situation going on around you so that you can extricate yourself from the problem, from the situation around you. Essentially, I'm giving you a map of a battlefield, and I can't tell you the way through the battlefield. I can just make you aware of the situation, the major landmarks, and you, with your skills, with your abilities, with your talents, are going to have to find your own way through this battlefield. And hopefully some of us can make it, right? And this is, of course, the second coming of man. So much of human existence is basically an animalistic struggle with the natural world. And <clears throat> it isn't until you know, four or 500 years ago that the rational mind of man, the thinking mind of man, starts to kick in and starts to overcome the difficulties, the harsh realities of the natural world through our tool building ability. Understand that the Renaissance men who expounded the views of the rational mind of man were largely considered heretics, right? They were burned at the stake. This process is happening now again. We have taken the tools of modern man and built the society and the world around you. You have this vast computer, the human mind. It's so vast that it runs its own software, right? What do you think dreams are? And most of us exist pretty much on automatic. This great computer, this great machine, biological, is pretty much on autopilot. And that's the way the powers that be want it. They don't want you to really think and be able to program your own mind. They want to put the programs in there. And these programs are going to make you a sacrificial animal. And the way they've done it, it's not even the way they've done it. It's just the way that this whole thing has evolved. This incredible modern world is this attempt to step out of evolution, to step out and overcome the harsh realities of the natural world. An animal must adapt to its environment. And if it can't, if it doesn't have the tools, if it doesn't have the instincts, it dies. That's all. Man, modern man, thinking man, is able to adapt the world to himself. These are our tools. This is our technology, stepping out of evolution. And this allows for our great population. This allows for our incredible lifespan. This allows for our incredible lifestyle. And the principles, the virtues, the values that built this system, you are the inheritor of all of it. However, those who are running the system, and this is not even an intentional situation, it just happens, okay? You know, you build a system and it's a great system and many, many people benefit from that system. And eventually we forget the principles, the values, the virtues on which we built that system. And we take them for granted. And all we want are workers, our servants, our slaves, our sacrificial animals to the system. That's where we are right now. The free, independent thinking mind of man that created this world is no longer needed to sustain this world. Now it just wants the sacrificial animal, the worker. That's the end of man 1.0. The source of your frustration and anger is the fact that you wanted to fill that role of man 1.0. The Tradcon, you wanted to fill that role. You wanted to be like your good father, the ideal father, the ideal man, the alpha of the system. The system doesn't want alphas, wants workers, wants the sacrificial animals to sustain the mass population that this system has enabled. There's the conflict. There's a great movie by Charlie Chaplin, Modern World, where the tramp is uh, just looking to get in from out of the cold 
right, just to keep a roof over his head, just trying to overcome the harsh realities of the natural world. And he winds up inside of a giant factory, an assembly line, and he gets caught up in the gears of the machine. Well, that's you. That's me. We are caught up in the gears of this machine that man 1.0 has built in his attempt to overcome the harsh realities of the natural world. And it worked. Now, you, me, men, wanting to be the perpetuators, the champions of this system, are no longer needed or appreciated. Now this system wants assembly line workers, sacrificial animals to this machine. The carrot, the reward, which is held out in front of you, is false. Because the people, essentially the women and the children, we were all children once, and we reaped the benefits of the system, benefit so much from this machine that they can't allow for this thinking, rational, intelligent mind that's going to say, hey, wait a minute, this system is no longer serving our needs. This system is serving its own needs. This is also a natural process. You know, we want to be so angry. How dare the world do this to us? But it's not personal. You know, it's just the evolution of the system. This system could largely be associated with the biblical beast of revelations, right? The modern state, the modern system. So here we are, trapped on this battlefield. Some of us suspect there's a problem. Some of us know that there is a problem. Some of us can provide these maps to help the men, the modern human beings. You know, it's, it's fascinating. You know, even the women are really getting upset now. You know, where have all the good men gone? Like, well, you destroyed them. And again, it wasn't personal. It wasn't intentional. It was just, there's so many benefits to be had from our system that people don't want to let it go. And any ideas or principles or virtues that call it into question are smashed down. Those people are burned at the stake. So that's what's happening. That's what you need to understand. And as a result, you might be able to extricate yourself from this situation. Now, naturally, you still have the hopes and the dreams and the wants and the desires that this system used to entice you to become part of the system. It's quite natural, right? You did all this work for your father, and uh, now you'd like to sit down at the dinner table. But no, I need you to keep working. And you're like, well, that's not fair. No, it's not. But if you recognize it, if you understand it, you might be able to go your own way. You might be able to build your own way. You might be able to protect your individual life, your individual existence. You might be able to have meaning and purpose and balance you within your own individual life without going along with this group collective mindset. Understand the modern world. Understand mass marketing. They don't want you to think. They don't want you to understand. They want you to go along with the group. They want you to buy their products. They want you to be happy and to have your feelings and to be amazed and hypnotized by the world around you so that you will be its servant, its sacrificial animal. That's what's so upsetting about the whole situation. That's what you need to understand. As I said, I can't tell you the way out of this system. All I can do is provide a basic map of the pitfalls and the dangers. You yourself are going to have to navigate your way through this system. Hopefully you can help other men. Hopefully you can help other human beings. Like I said, the women are paying the price for this too. And th this isn't even really like a unique situation. This, this would happen, you know, this has happened in all the civilizations throughout time. This happens in corporations as well. This happens in any large system that works. Eventually, the ideas and the principles and the processes that served this important need, they become, we, we forget, you know, why we did it, what the true purpose was. And we just want the results of the system, betraying the principles, the values, the processes, the strengths that were needed to create and build that system. That's what's happening. It's breaking down and it's happened before. We're a little different, okay? Modern world, <clears throat> modern man, we have tools very much like this, you know, that we're using right now. This might be able to get us through. This might be able to create the second coming of man. It's going to be an individual struggle. You're going to have to fight for your own life, to find meaning and purpose and value in your own life. I hope this gives you some insight to the situation that's going on around you. I hope this allows you to make your way through the situation. Don't be bitter. Don't be angry. Understand. And then take the necessary steps and precautions to have a good life for yourself. Don't be fooled. Don't fall for the trap. Understand. I'm going to have to leave it at that for now. I'm going to include a PayPal donation link in the description below. If you're in a position to help out Howard Dare, 
go ahead. Click on the PayPal donation link. Anything would be appreciated. If you're not in a position to help out Howard Dare right now, listen to my content. Think about my ideas. Try to put them into practice. That's all I want. So please like, share, comment, subscribe, donate, and join me again, Howard Dare, as I plan to have more content for you. Thank you, MGTOW.